Kevin, did you keep me up all night last night? Huh? Did you sleep for like maybe three hours? Yeah, that's what I thought. Should we wake Marie up? Are you going to your sleep? We, we are. It's 4 a.m. It's gonna be so fun, I promise. It's like pitch black. I know, it's still dark outside. What are you guys excited for? I'm excited to see what Mirror Lake is gonna be like. I wonder if it's actually gonna be like a mirror or something. Yeah. That'll be fun. Whoa. I wanna swim. You wanna swim? That's what you wanna do. I bet, I bet we'll be able to swim. Simon. Wait, Simon, what do you have? No, no, this is not breakfast. That's not breakfast. It's a long, beautiful drive. But by the time the sun comes up, the kids are ready for breakfast. Good thing we brought our jet boil. Within a minute, we have hot water and make everyone a hot bowl of oatmeal. All right, cooking some breakfast in Yosemite National Park. Right under El Capitan. Not a very good spot because you can't see it very well. 6.38 in the morning. He has early risers, huh? Is that so fun? Is that so fun? <laughs> what do you think? You're so excited. Right at the foot of El Capitan. We don't throw rocks. We don't throw rocks. Ezra loves nature. Because of his autism, he's overstimulated, and I really think he can process nature a lot easier than the sounds, lights, and sights of a city. The sights and feeling of this place seem to help him relax, and his smile never leaves his face. So here is our typical once on the go, the park. We're gonna drag everything down to the beach, but decided not to, so we're just eating here and then going to the beach. in the water, Simon finds a furry friend. <laughs> this is what happens when he only sleeps for three hours during the night. Ezra sometimes has a difficult time looking at people's faces. I don't know what Ezra experiences when he tries to look at our faces, but there is something about music that keeps his attention. Watch this clip and see how long Ezra focuses on Marie's face while she's singing to him. The nice thing about Yosemite National Park is you can actually see quite a bit while driving. It's fun to be able to see so much in a short amount of time. As we drive, we see amazing cliffs and entire forests that were burned, and yet you could see the regrowth. These overlooks are breathtaking. We see amazing waterfalls and half dome. And after exploring, we decide it's time to get some dinner. All right, here's dinner. Served at the base of Half Dome. Pretty good dinner coming, huh? How do you like the chicken, Mark? Good. We decide it's time to head over and hike to Mirror Lake. <laughs> One point four miles. Yeah, we're hiking four miles. Like, you big hiker. Yeah? 
in here. Are you so happy? Simon's happy because he's holding the walkie-talkie. Ezra, you're going the wrong way. We're going to Mirror Lake. You want to come with us? So pretty. Yay, this is amazing. Yeah, I know. I like the gold. Someone come here. Whoa. I see you. Is it a secret passageway to a different world? Yeah. This trail gives new meaning to a rocky path. How cold is it? It's freezing cold. Oh, is it? Also, if you want to take a picture of the spiral web, that's a huge one right there. Can I have a better look up there? You can see the guy's face right there. It's kind of cool. That is great. There's no water. So, note taken, if you want to go to Mirror Lake and actually see water, don't come in the summer. So Mirror Lake in the summer isn't what we're expecting, but the kids still have fun climbing on the rocks. One of their favorite things to do. And we learned some valuable lessons. I can see why they call it Mirror Lake. There's so much around here to mirror it. Yeah, but it's just a puddle. So it should be called Mirror Puddle. But we shouldn't rename it. We're all like this mirror lake, reflecting what's around us. What we choose to surround ourselves with, that's what we will eventually reflect. The world will want to rename you. Rename you as your hardest moment in life, but don't let it. God sees your potential, and he sees what you can become. You may be a puddle now, but he sees you as a lake. Don't let the world define you for your low point in life. God will lift you up and make you great if you let him into your life because he sees you as who you will become. Someone put a ladder there. Yeah, that was a really convenient log to just fall right there. Just for you guys. I put it there. You think so? There's a little bit of water around yeah. the edges. It's like your moat and you're you're on a castle. Yeah. I'm sure that's how Benson feels. It's like this is my kingdom. What I'm amazed with is this is just like a rock and yet you have these spots where there's trees that grow. I mean this is like super steep rock face. It's gorgeous. And I don't even know how the trees grow. <laughs> Of the hike. That's what he does. Kind of, uh, Dad carry me halfway. <laughs> He's just like, ah, I can't do that. He'd like, he'd bring me down with him. We went to Mirror Lake. Mirror Lake. Yeah, it was so pretty. Mirror Puddle. 
It is just gorgeous uh, sunset it looks here. Fake. It looks like, fake. Even just looking at the video, I feel like the background is fake. It's not though. This is a real sunset and it's, it's gorgeous. It's incredible. So we drive up the mountains just in time for this amazing view of the sun setting. So we did it! We spent the whole day in Yosemite National Park, sun up to sundown. I think I'm ready to sleep in. Next week, we'll see you at the famous Grand Canyon. We put the kids on a hunt to find the most dangerous animal in the Grand Canyon National Park. The only trick is they don't exactly know what they're looking for, but I'll tell them when they find it.